Hi, mamas. Today I want to talk about visualization. And my favorite practice is called a goodie practice. And I made it up because I had read so much about different visualization practices. And, you know, I kind of cherry picked the six things I thought were most impactful when you're building a practice like this. And what it is in the first place, if you're not clear on like, what the heck does it even mean? So it's a way to practice uh, daily if possible, um, bringing something into your life that you want. Okay, so this is like the step to manifesting if you've heard that term before. So visualization is like what you might do to actually manifest something, to draw something into your life that you want. Now, people are really good at manifesting things they don't want when they think about all the terrible things that could happen. So this is a way to purposely focus on what you do want. And this is the structure that I like using. And sometimes I do it instead of meditating because if my brain is just going rampant, I'll, I'll switch into a visualization practice. So mine is called the Goody practice, G-O-O-D-I-E, okay? Um, and it stands for gratitude, outcome, others, details, uh, inspired action, and emotion. I had to peek because I couldn't remember, make sure I spelled it right. So goody. So I'm just going to like give you a couple of them um, right now. So the first one is gratitude. And it's hard to draw anything into your life if you're coming from a space of not gratitude. If you're coming from a space of resentment and frustration and anger, it's really hard to draw good things into your life. So getting into a space of gratitude before you begin any visualization practice is golden. It's key. If you're coming from the space of like, oh, I don't have anything. All my friends are terrible. My parents are terrible. This food is terrible. <laughs> it's just, it's not the best zone to start in. So getting into a place of gratitude, even if it's something super simple, super simple, like, oh, I got to take a nap yesterday. Oh, so grateful for that. This coffee is amazing this morning. I love it. Anything simple, just to get into that zone of gratitude. You don't have to do it for 20 minutes. Just, just think of one thing really deeply that can fill yourself with some gratitude, even if it's very simple. So that's the first one, gratitude. Um, the second one is outcome. You want to make sure you're really focused on the final outcome of what you want. So instead of visualizing um, a promotion at work, for instance, what does that promotion at work mean to you? Does that mean more creativity and flexibility? Does that mean working with people who are really like funny and light and joyful? Does that mean um, more money? What does more money mean? Does it mean more flexibility? Does it mean a vacation? Like get really clear on what you want because sometimes that promotion might not elicit what you really want. You think that will lead to flexibility and more money, but maybe you have to work twice as many hours. Oh, that doesn't really work. So outcome is the second one. And the third one is um, others. So lots of the times, especially you mamas, we will do for others what we won't do for ourselves. So if your goal is more flexibility or more creativity, um, then ask yourself, how will that benefit other people that you love, okay? Even your animal, your pet, okay? So maybe because when you have more time on your hand and more flexibility, you're more likely to go take long walks with your dog. So this will benefit your dog. Anything that you can think of, of the benefits that having this, drawing this into your life will leave for those you love and really see them, like see them enjoying it. See your dog like so stoked for going on this long walk that normally you don't have the energy for. You're just like, oh, can we be done with this? Okay. So seeing the benefits to those you love can be really, really impactful in a visualization practice.